Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today, we're going to walk you through uh, how to set up a snake enemy type. I won't go too heavy on that, but more importantly, uh, how to uh, enable animations for the body and tail for the snake enemy type. So why don't we jump right into this? Okay, so first off, um, you can see here uh, that I have my big, my big boss snake type enemy and that um, the body has animated fins. The, mount, the face, normally you can do animated um, faces are fine on, on snake uh, type enemies. And then at the end here, you'll see the tail come through. Come on tail, come on tail. And the tail also has animation. So the way you have to do this is a bit of a trick, not, not anything super hard, you can do this, <clears throat> is, um, let me double check here, my noters. Cloop. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, so first you wanna make sure that your enemy is, um, is set up for animation. So uh, I won't go deeply into this, but uh, just for the sake of argument, so we come down, yeah. And you'll see here, for instance, I have a sprite sheet. Um, you can look in the documentation. Um, there's plenty of resources out there. So this isn't, uh, a, this isn't a tutorial on that. So, but basically sprite sheet, two frames. It's a, it's a old school animation type. And then uh, just make sure that you are doing the same thing for la 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 la. Where did my things go? Uh, for the body and you, know, you can see the body and then the tail as well. So um, so that's all you have to do there. We'll close Photoshop out real quick. You can make sprite sheets in just about anything. Um, so have fun doing that. Um, all right, so first and foremost, um, you bring in your enemy. So I did this as the undra undead dragon uh, sea boss, uh, undead sea dragon boss. And uh, here you'll see that on the animation, you set this up like normal. So you come over to your um, animation tab for the, in for the uh, enemy type. And then you come over and uh, you set, in this case, um, the, the sprite sheet is just two frames, it's two columns, um, but you set whatever it is. If it's two rows, then two rows. Um, if it's more, you set it there. So that's all you have to do there. And then you check the, the type. So one other uh, little pro tip here, right, is that when you set up an enemy type, uh, snake enemy type you want to make sure that you put a little waypoint in there so you can actually see it move Otherwise all your sprites stack on top of each other and you'll feel like it isn't working. So um, sometimes that gets people uh, All right, so what's next? Uh, let's see here. So enemy type enable sneak feature uh, Make sure to set the waypoint spline which we talked about in enabling uh, and then we have, uh, let's see here, make sure your enemy sprite sheet has uh, frame animation set. Yep, okay. So then the next thing you do is uh, close and uh, save. And then, oh, actually, let me lay back that up real quick. So it, this is probably faster for you guys. So here, let me do this. One second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me in. Okay. So then what you want to do is open your game box and you want to reveal an explorer, explorer, explorer. And now I'll go and close this down. So there's two things. Uh, we don't need to close, save that time. Uh, so here um, you want to come back to your game directory. So, um, and then you'll have a game box folder. And then in the game box folder, you want to come down to, um, uh, where am I? Game box, so it's sprites. Game box, pictures, items, sprites, sounds, sprites, there we go. Uh, and then you wanna right click on that and you can open it in regular notepad or ed edit with notepad plus, 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 plus. Man, I can't speak tonight. Um, and then, um, so open that up. And what you wanna do is you wanna search for, in this file, uh, you wanna search for the name of, oh, I got multiples, uh, the name of your enemy type. So in our case, we're looking for the undead dragon boss. And one of the other things that's really important, otherwise this won't work, uh, is that you need to make sure that, um, that under the undead, under the body part of the snake. So the way you set up snakes basically are you have the primary, which is the head, right? And then what this, what the engine does is it looks for a tag um, at the end, so the same, it could be uh, the same name uh, of your head sprite, and then underscore body. Body has to be all capital letters. You have to make sure it's capitalized. And then the same thing for uh, underscore tail. So name of your sprite, this is, and then what the engine does is it knows to look for the body piece and the tail piece and puts it all together, and then we have fun. So, but again, <clears throat> has to be all capitals, otherwise it will not work. So you come in here, 
and then you do a, a search. Regular notepad works for you as well. We're looking for Undead Sea Dragon Boss. So, <clears throat> so I'm looking for the version that, uh, and if you have multiples that you put in the engine, the old versions are left behind. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is with that, if they get cleaned up at some point or not. But, so you're looking for Undead Dragon Boss and Body in this case, and you'll see over here, that it says columns and rows. That's basically the same thing as with the uh, UI where you set whether it's animating by the amount of columns and or rows. So in here, I just set the the column row, columns to two and one, and, um, and one for rows. So you don't have to change anything else. Um, the other thing you should know is that if you don't close down Shmup Creator before you edit this file, then um, when you save, it may overwrite the file. So that's why I recommend closing Shmup Creator down first. And then we come back in here, we look for Undead Dragon uh, Boss Tail, same thing, set that off, uh, or set it to two in my case, and then save your file. And, uh, and then close it, reopen Shmup Creator. And if all went well, you should now have uh, a, an, a snake enemy type with animated body and animated tail sprites. All right. Thank you very much, Sunny. Thank you, everyone that's out there watching. I hope you appreciate these tutorials. And uh, if there's anything you want to know um, about Shmup Creator, let me know. I'll do a little, uh, little how-to tutorial for you. To everyone else, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.